The four of us went to a nearby restaurant and sat on an outdoor terrace. I sat directly across from Ambassador Sondland, and the two staffers sat off to our sides. At first, the lunch was largely social. Ambassador Sondland selected a bottle of wine that he shared among the four of us, and we discussed topics such as marketing strategies for his hotel business. During the lunch, Ambassador Sondland said that he was going to call President Trump to give him an update. Ambassador Sondland placed a call on his mobile phone, and I heard him announce himself several times along the lines of Gordon Sondland holding for the president. It appeared that he was being transferred through several layers of switchboards and assistance, and I then noticed Ambassador Sondland's demeanor changed and understood that he had been connected to President Trump. While Ambassador Sondland's phone was not on speakerphone, I could hear the president's voice through the earpiece of the phone. The president's voice was loud and recognizable, and Ambassador Sondland held the phone away from his ear for a period of time, presumably because of the loud volume. I heard Ambassador Sondland greet the president and explain he was calling from Kyiv. I heard President Trump then clarify that Ambassador Sondland was in Ukraine. Ambassador Sondland replied, yes, he was in Ukraine, and went on to state, that President Zelensky, quote, loves your ass. I then heard President Trump ask, so he's gonna do the investigation. Ambassador Sondland replied that he's gonna do it, adding that President Zelensky will do anything you ask him to do. Even though I did not take notes of these statements, I have a clear recollection that these statements were made. I believe that my colleagues who were sitting at the table also knew that Ambassador Sondland was speaking with the President. The conversation then shifted to Ambassador Sondland's efforts on behalf of the President to assist a rapper who was jailed in Sweden, and I could only hear Ambassador Sondland's side of, of the conversation. Ambassador Sondland told the President that the rapper was, quote, kind of effed there and should have pled guilty. He recommended that the President, quote, wait until after the sentencing or it will only make it worse. And he added that the President should let him get sentenced, play the racism card, give him a ticker tape when he comes home. Ambassador Sondland further told the President that Sweden, quote, should have released him on your word, but that you can tell the Kardashians you tried. After the call ended, Ambassador Sondland remarked that the President was in a bad mood, as Ambassador Sondland stated it was often the case early in the morning. I then took the opportunity to ask Ambassador Sondland for his candid impression of the President's views on Ukraine. In particular, I asked Ambassador Sondland if it was true that the President did not give a expletive about Ukraine. Ambassador Sondland agreed that the President did not give an expletive about Ukraine. I asked why not, and Ambassador Sondland stated that the President only cares about big stuff. I noted there was big stuff going on in Ukraine, like a war with Russia. And Ambassador Sondland replied that he meant big stuff that benefits the President, like the Biden investigation that Mr. Giuliani was pushing. The conversation then moved on to other topics. Upon returning to the embassy, I immediately briefed my direct supervisor, the Deputy Chief of Mission, about Ambassador Sondland's call with President Trump and my subsequent conversation with Ambassador Sondland. I told others at the embassy about the call as well. I also emailed an embassy official in Sweden regarding the issue with the U.S. rapper that was discussed on the call. July 26 was my last day in the office ahead of a long planned vacation that ended on August 6th. After returning to the embassy, I told Ambassador Taylor about the July 26th call. I also repeated, repeatedly referred to the call and the conversation with Ambassador Sondland in meetings and conversations where the issue of the President's interest in Ukraine was potentially relevant. At that time, Ambassador Sondland's statement, to the President, statement of the President's lack of interest in Ukraine was of particular focus. We understood that in order to secure a meeting between President Trump and President Zelensky, we would have to work hard to find a way to explain Ukraine's importance to President Trump in terms that he found compelling. Now, you said that at some point Ambassador Sondland uh, pulled out his cell phone and called President Trump. This was an unsecure cell phone, in, is that right? Yes, sir. In the middle of a restaurant in Kyiv? Yes. Now, you said that you were able to hear President Trump's voice through the receiver. How were you able to hear if it was not on speakerphone? It was uh, several things. It was quite loud uh, when the president came on, quite distinctive. Uh, I believe Ambassador Sondland also said yesterday he often speaks very loudly over the phone, and I certainly uh, experienced that. Um, he 
when the president came on, he sort of winced and held the phone away from his ear like this. Um, and he did that for the first couple exchanges. I don't know if he then turned the volume down, if he got used to it, if the president's moderated his volume, I don't know. Um, but that's how I was able to hear it. And so you were able to hear some of what President Trump said to President Zelensky, is that right? The first portion of the conversation, yes. And what did you hear President Trump say to, um, I'm sorry, not President Zelensky, to Ambassador Sondland? What I hear the president, the president say to Ambassador Sondland. Yeah, he clarified whether he was in Ukraine or not. Uh, and he said, yes, I'm here in Ukraine. And then Ambassador Sondland said, uh, um, said yeah, he loves your ass, he'll do anything you want. He said, is, is he going to do the investigation? So you heard President Trump ask Ambassador Sondland, is he going to do the investigation? Yes, sir. What was Ambassador Sondland's response? Uh, he, he said, oh, yeah, he's going to do it. Uh, he'll do anything you ask. And was that the end of the Ukraine portion of the conversation? Uh, yes.